you can think of Poseidon as an application that does all the mechanics of communicating with an SDN controller to learn about events like a like a new device popped onto the network or update the posture by saying like, okay, this new device just popped up, let's let's start mirroring traffic around that to um, our analysis pipeline, which is going to be run by event. Or maybe uh, after it's gotten results back from that analysis pipeline, it's determined that you know something on that network needs to change in how it communicates. So um, Poseidon does all that controlling of updating the posture of that network through the SGN controller. I've got three Raspberry Pis and a northbound Zodiac FX SGN switch. The top Raspberry Pi is going to be the SGN controller. And the bottom two are going to be clients that are connected to the network. So the way that this Zodiac FX switch works is one port is dedicated to communicate with OpenFlow 1.3 controller. Um, and then the other three ports are going to be for our network. Basically, you'd want to set up your network interfaces for the, the two Ethernet dongles on your laptop. Um, if I look at mine, you can see I've got E3, which is actually going to be the crossover cable that talks to the controller. And then I've also got this ENX, et cetera, and that's going to be my um, mirror port. So all I have to do is add USB power to everything. The top one, which is the controller, is running SSH so that I can get into it from Poseidon. The middle one, which is client number two, actually is not doing anything. And client number one is technically running a web server, but nothing's hitting it right now. The controller is set to automatically start up faucet on boot. There's a YAML file that tells it how the switch is configured in relation to its ports. To get Poseidon up and running, we're going to just git clone it. You're going to want to set some configuration options for Poseidon to know how to connect to our controller. So at this point, we can start Poseidon. Inside helpers, there's a nice little run script, so I'm just going to do that. And what that's going to do, basically, is spin up vent, which is the orchestrator for how um, Poseidon runs and offloads traffic for analysis. One nine two one six eight one dot seventy seven is the second client here. Um, and just to show you, I can ping that if I want to. It's all happy. You can see it's local because it's one millisecond response times. Um, and now you can see over here on Poseidon that it just picked up something. So we went from nothing to, hey, there's this new unknown thing, which is the 192.168.177, which is client one, which is what I was connecting to in the web server. And since, since it's unknown, um, Poseidon triggered it to start collecting to see what it's doing. Um, so put it into the mirroring state, which then would have updated our um, controller. So if we look over back here on my logs, you can see it just did an update of this configuration where it added a mirror destination to port 1, which is where our client is on the dot .77. Um, and so if I look, just to show you that, if I look at the YAML file, it added in this mirror to port one because port one was where that traffic was initiated. So I want to see Poseidon wants to capture everything that that IP is doing. Um, that's basically it. <laughs>